Hey there, guys and gals of the intranet. I am Codename Darkness, and today we're going to be going over the locations of the hidden artifacts in Ruby Grim Eclipse. Now, there are four different trophies in each of the four sections of the game Emerald Forest Part 1 and 2, Mountain Glen, and the Underground section, for a total of 16 trophies. So, let's begin the hunt. The first trophy is located just at the very beginning of the game, right behind this rock. Very easy to find. Then shortly after that, once you fight the second waves of Grimm, you can take a right to a small alcove area and find the second trophy right there. Then after that, just before you get to the bridge to the control center that you have to defend, you can take a right and jump over some boxes to find both a trophy and some Grimm to fight. And once you enter the cave, you can take a right past the control center. Then once you're in this little area here, you want to take a left, not a right like I did. Jump over the boxes, and you should find the trophy back here in this little area. That's all of the Emerald Forest Part 1 trophies. Now on to Emerald Forest Part 2 trophies. The first trophy is located very near to the start of the chapter. You want to go through that grass right there and then go along this path until you find this little area right here and the trophy should be waiting right there. The second trophy is just after you beat the Borba Tusk and if you take a right behind this rock face you'll find the second trophy. The third trophy is just after you open the bridge and if you take a right and go around these trees the third trophy is there waiting. The fourth trophy is located just behind this rock before the second wave fight of the chapter. Now we have the Mountain Glen section of the game. The first trophy is located just before you make the turn to go to the wave section of the game. If you take a right after you go past the fence place, then you'll find the trophy right there. Speaking of the tunnel place, this is where the second trophy is, just behind the first tunnel and once you get it it's a hundred free XP for you. Now the next two trophies are kinda difficult. The first one you have to take a left just after defending the gate area and you'll find this trophy if you take a left after that. But the next trophy requires something different. You can actually take a right just after you beat the wave section and you can come up here for a few boxes and of course the trophy and there are also some grim so you might want to be careful. But if you see right here, just inside this building, there is a trophy waiting for you. This just leaves the last section of the game, the underground section, which can be very difficult at times, so take caution when getting these trophies. The first trophy is very thankfully pretty easy to find. It's just after the very beginning and right behind this fence and these boards and rocks. The second trophy is just in this train section instead of going right to fight the Grim, you can turn left to find the trophy right here by a pile of rubble. Now these next trophies require you to activate the bomb which is where you need to be careful. The first one is fairly painless to get it's just to the right after these boxes and you go a bit further in and you can find the third trophy. And this last trophy is very easy to miss. It's just at the end of the game, very inconspicuously placed behind this box, so be on the lookout. And that wraps it up for all of the hidden trophies in Ruby Grim Eclipse, giving you a total of 1600 experience, which is quite a lot, enough to get you from level 9 to level 10, more or less. So try and get them all the next time you play a game. It could be the difference between getting that ability or not getting it at all.